Welcome everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrummy Quick Designs and today I have a new feature in Design Space to share with you. We have been asking Cricut, can we please warp our text? We want to change the shape of our text on our projects. And up to this point, yeah, we could use the curve feature, which was nice, but we really couldn't warp the actual letters or, you know, make some special designs. Well, guess what? There is a new feature coming out to Design Space and I'm going to show you how to quickly warp your text now in Cricut Design Space. Now, we're going to go in, I'm going to show you how can you get access to use this new feature now because it's in beta. And I'm going to show you what it's about, how you can use it, and give you some tips um, that I found playing around in it and we're going to get started. So the warp text is currently available in the beta version of the desktop version of Design Space. So you are only going to be able to find this if you're using the desktop version. It's not in iOS yet and it is in beta mode, which means that Cricut's still playing around with some features. So there'll be a, maybe a few wonky things or whatever, but it's definitely worth it to get in and play with this new feature. So let me show you what you need, where you need to go if you don't already currently work in beta mode. So I'm in my Cricut Design Space screen. I'm going to come over here to where the three little hamburger lines are and I'm going to click that and go down here to where it says settings. When you click settings, it gives you the option to either be in the beta mode under here where it says application experience and you can just click that and be in beta mode or you can be in the live version, which is the more stable, not the playground <laughs> version of Design Space. So, and you can switch back and forth between the two. So if you just wanna go over and play in uh, with the warp feature in Design Space right now, just put it on beta and then you'll click done. Now what's gonna happen is it's gonna come up, if you haven't been in the beta mode before, it's gonna come up and ask you, hey, you need to install this and it'll go through the automated process. What you want to make sure is that it, right now it rolled out in beta version 7.29 minus 1.147. In beta mode, that's where you need to be. So make sure up here is where you see it so you'll see the feature. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go play with the warp feature. So you'll need to add some text. I'm going to click the text box and I'm going to say warp. Okay, so I've typed in warp. Now you'll notice up here in the top layer of the menu, you'll see now we have a new feature next to offset that is warp. So when you click this, um, you may get this message. Now this is make it now with the click. Cut it with Cricut Access. Now I do want to tell you that while you can play in this, if you don't have Cricut Access, this is a perk of being a Cricut Access subscriber. You can't cut out your warped images. I know that's a bummer, but Cricut's trying to add some extra perks just for Cricut Access subscribers. You can still, if you don't subscribe, it gives you a subscribe button here. And if you don't want to subscribe, you can just say, check it out. Okay, so I'm going to say check it out. I have a P Cricut Access subscription, so um, I always keep it. I find it very useful, and I encourage people to have one. But um, you can still play with this if you don't have it. So when you get to that screen, just use the check it out button. Now what you're going to find is, oh my gosh, there are 24 different ways that you can warp your text. Yep, 24 of them. So let's just play with a few of them so you can kind of see what it's doing. So here's the word warp and we're going to do this and it'll take a second and see it warped the word. Wow, awesome. Let's try another one. This one's number eight. Look at that, it's warping the words. And anyway, there's a lot of different ones you can do. Yes, you can change the fonts, okay, and still warp. So I'm gonna come over here to some that I bookmarked. And this one, let me see. This one that's BFC Wild Thing is a font that's in Design Space and it's part of the Cricut Access subscription. And it just looks kinda uh, cool and funky uh, and it's really fun, right? So here it is. I've changed the warp. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the color of this just so it's more fun to play with it. And 
what I want to show you is it's already warped one way, right? We picked one. You can come back up to warp. You don't have to retype anything and you can pick a different one and warp it. Okay, so you can play around with it until you find the one that you think looks good for the type of project that you're going to make. Okay, so, you know, here's a nice wavy one, so forth. And so you can keep changing it out. Now, let me go back to this one. And let's say that you, can you edit it? Yes, you can edit it. I can go in and I can retype a word. I can put a chain and give it a second and it will warp it to the one that you had selected before okay so you can change the if you misspelled something or maybe you just want to play around and see what different words you can do what they look like you can just do that you don't have to go back and type another word and do it it'll you can change it the other thing i want to point out about this is that you can only use single line text or fonts rather okay so how do you know if it's single lined or not all right, so if you, I'm just going to go over here to Cricut Fonts. If you look underneath the fonts in Design Space, it tells you, is it a single layer font? See here, it says single layer font. Or, so you don't, you wouldn't want to pick anything that says multi-layer. Multi-layers will not work. It must say single layer underneath the font name. So make sure that you find a font that you like that is a single layer. There's a million of them that are in Design Space. And also, let's see, if we import any in, I'm looking at my system fonts now. Yes, it tells me if this is a single layered font, okay? So whether you're using a Cricut font or a system font that you've imported into Design Space, um, then you can use it. So you want to make sure it says single layer. So if you're having any trouble with a word that you've typed in that won't work, uh, make sure it says single layer. Okay, so that's the important thing to know. The other thing is, you know, I showed you where we can resize it. You can also play around with just unlocking the sizes and changing it. See how I can change it to that? So it's still got that curved that warp font, but it looks completely different when I expand it, move it around like this. So, you know, you can get a lot of play out of this by doing that as well. Now, let's go in, I'm gonna delete this. Let's go in and let's we'd say we wanna do a two line text, okay? So I wanna say um, spring, no, I'll say welcome spring. I'm so glad to see spring. <laughs> Anyway, um, so we can go in and let's say we want to color this so it looks, I don't know, let's pick colors, let's make it blue, okay? Now, we can go up here and we can, we've just typed in a font, I've got it on BFC Wild Thing, it could, this could be any font. We're going to go up here and we're going to pick one of these. And I want it to be like this. I'm going to pick this one, which is number seven. See how it automatically curved the first line and then the bottom line. So it's in that same shape of the warp. All right. Now you can also go up here and you can change the line spacing. Okay. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go to line spacing. So you can add, let's say I want it to be, let's say I wanted more room in between there. So I could do six. And it's going to make it make more um, depth, more uh, spacing between the lines, okay? Because then I could come in and I could insert an image in here. I can insert some text. Uh, uh, let's say, let's do that. Let's do an image. And we'll just do flower, flowers, and see what it comes up. There'll be a million flowers. I probably shouldn't have picked flowers. But let me see if I can find some that would work. Just gonna grab something here. This is cute. I'll just put this in here. So you could keep playing around until you get the spacing. Let's say, let me change it to 10. Let me 
we'll give it a second to make that change okay so that looks pretty good I could put my design in here like this right so I wanted to show you you can really play around with this and edit it using the letter spacing and the line spacing and so forth even your font sizes you can change all that you can use any of that alignment okay so let me show you one more thing that you can do that'll be fun to play with and we're just going to come over here and pick a basic shape I'm going to grab a circle I'm going to make a bigger circle here there we go I'm making it big so you guys can see it and I'm just going to change that to a white background okay now I can take this image oh let me get it lined up the way I want it you can highlight this I'm going to group it so it all comes over together I'm going to put this on top of this okay and we're going to highlight the whole thing and then we're going to come down here and we're going to flatten it oh my gosh look at that now we have a sticker or a embellishment whatever you wanted to do that's a print and cut project so use the warp feature to help you create some really interesting shapes and designs for all of your different projects whether you're do cutting it out with iron-on or you're cutting out with uh, vinyl or you're making stickers or you're making embellishments for scrapbook pages or cards or whatever so there's a lot of cool things that you can do with this the text remains edible when it when you're in warp mode okay so let's unflatten this okay so let's say I wanted to change one of these let's say I went oh um, can I change this yes I can I need to give it a second for design space to catch up and let's say I wanted to say welcome Debbie ta-da look how easy that is so you could change it out I'm going to group this again and then move it back over to my circle take that and flatten it again okay and now I have a print and cut project okay so lots of fun things that you can do with this let's do a quick recap so that you have caught everything so it's available now in beta version 7.29147 i showed you how to get to beta if you want to do that everyone can try it only cricut access subscribers can cut or work tasks there's 24 different warp styles currently available it's a lot of fun go out there and play with it make sure you do it with single layer fonts only that's the only way it's going to work it only works on text okay it does not work on images try different warp styles together to create fun images um, use warp text with print and cut just flatten to a base shape and you can make stickers and embellishments like i showed you are you ready to use warp now think of all the great things that you could make with it do you have any questions leave a comment below i'm always happy to help I'd love for you to come join us in my Let's Learn Cricut Design Space Facebook group where there's a lot of us learning how to use the features in Design Space and how we can make them on our projects and sharing and inspiring each other with our creative work.